give it a thumbs up let's get it over a gazillion likes last video asked for a million let's do a gazillion all right let's get right to the news a lot of dope news items for this video the first one metroid prime 4 the saga continues now <laughs> this game was originally revealed all the way back, E3 2017 is 2019, and all we have is a Photoshop trailer that I could have made. But Nintendo did let us know that the game has been delayed, that they're switching development studios, and Retro Studios has taken up the banner to complete Metroid Prime 4. Why is this a good thing? This, and I said, when I heard this announcement, this could be both a good thing and a bad thing. And even with the news that I'm about to report right now, it's still a good thing and a bad thing. It is being reported that nearly half of the people that worked on the original Metroid Prime 3 is still at Retro Studios right now working on the new metroid game <clears throat> now i originally said i was worried about retro studios being able to handle metroid prime right now because the same um developers who worked on the original metroid prime game aren't there anymore but for having still half of the development team that's pretty good and then I, I read the, uh, more details on the report, and I was like, well, I don't know what to think about this. This is coming from <coughs> Video Games Chronicle, and they're reporting that a core team of around 50 people worked full-time on the 2007 Metroid Prime 3 shooter, and around 27, that's where they get the 50% half. So I'm like, oh, half! Then I said 27, uh-oh. 27 remain at the Texas-based at, at the Texas -based developer. In fact, five of the 11 designers that worked on Metroid Prime 3 are still at Retro, as well as four contracts that were made permanent. As for the original Metroid Prime that came out in 2002, it's a different story. Less than 10 of the 40 plus team members remain at Retro, and virtually all of the lead creators have moved on. And so pretty much all of the lead creators for the original Metroid game, they're gone, and I knew that. That's why Halo looks like <coughs> Metroid right now, because a lot of those dudes went over and started making um, Halo games um, for Xbox. So, two ways to look at this. It's good that nearly half of the original team, so they're going to keep the core concept um, of, of the game there. But when you actually look at the number, only 27? Only 27 people? Bro, it's 2019. To make a big, like, huge AAA game with, like, if you want, like, a real quality game, a lot of these teams... Um, there are hundreds and hundreds of developers working on a lot of these games, like huge, good triple A games, not indie games. 27 people is an indie studio <laughs> in 2019, but not so much quantity if you got quality developers. And so this, just the fact that Nintendo canceled, it was a, I already knew um, who was the company um, that was working on it before, and now it's been moved to uh, Retro Studios. I think just the fact that Nintendo looked at the game and saw that it wasn't up to their standards and gave it to Retro means this game isn't coming out until it's going to be a top-notch quality 
game. So I have confidence, <coughs> regardless of who's there or who's not there, that we're going to get a good Metroid game. The big question, what we really need to be asking is, when is this game coming out? Uh, by the looks of it, man, I, I really don't think this game is coming out on the Switch hardware that we have right now. Whatever the next generation of Switch will be, two years, this game is at least two years out. That's what, and this might be a launch title for the new, for the Nintendo Switch Pro or whatnot. Oh, no, I take it back. It could, it'll probably run at a higher resolution, higher frame rate in 2022. <coughs> and it'll probably still work on our current Switch. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But, update that. You can take this news one or two ways. All right, but the next news item. We got some PlayStation and Xbox news, bro. Do you want to know when they're going to reveal the PlayStation 5? There's a new rumor that the PlayStation 5 is going to be revealed at a PlayStation meeting in early 2020, specifically February 12th. They're saying, this is coming from BGR.com, that it's rumored that Sony is setting February 12th as the reveal date for the PlayStation 5. Interesting to see what this console is going to be all about. Is, is it going to have any handheld? I think it's just going to be a core <coughs> home console. Um, super duper good graphics. Um, all the shebangs that, that core gamers really want. But February 12th. Mark your calendars. Speaking of next generation. Not only do we have PlayStation 5 news. But Xbox Scarlet news is breaking. GameSpot interviewed Phil Spencer. And asked him um, more information on Project Scarlet. And this is what he said. <coughs> I think the area that we really want to focus on next generation is frame rate and playability of games. Oh my goodness. I almost want to cry when I hear this. That's all we want. We want games to look good and run good. Primarily run good. Run good. That's my pet peeve. Have them run good. And he continues, ensuring that the games load incredibly fast, ensuring that the game is running at the highest frame rate possible. People love 60 frames per second games. So, getting games to run at 4K60 is the design goal for us. And so, he's saying the standard next generation is 4K60 frames per second. I have to say this though. I have an Xbox One X, and a good chunk of the games run 4K. I think Forza Horizon 4 runs 4K, 60 frames per second. But, there's also a report that says the Xbox Scarlet is going to be four times as powerful as the Xbox One X. So, Sony, Microsoft, I have to say this. Most generations I get all consoles all consoles um microsoft's um, playstation whatever i'm waiting i'm gonna wait and see what they reveal what they announce um before i get anything because i really just want to have one system where i could play all my games but there's some areas where you have to there's some games that aren't on the switch where you have to get another um console I always like Xbox more than PlayStation, so I'm probably going to be picking up the Scarlet. But I am going to wait to see what both companies reveal and see what they have on the table for next generation. Next generation is going to be very interesting in gaming. Speaking of that Switch boy, next news item. The revised Switch is officially available nationwide now there were reporting because i have one right here one terabyte micro sd card inside um there were reports that they were popping up in different places i so happened to go to my gamestop and they were selling them they had actually just got them in but now amazon us is selling it nationwide and other larger retailers have officially stocked the new nintendo switch so 
if you are buying a Switch, you could see two boxes on the shelf and they'll both cost $300. Look for red, red, red. Get the red box Nintendo Switch. That is the Switch with better battery life, reported better screen, just an overall better system. If they co but they both cost 300 so make sure you get a red box if you're getting a switch and the last news items just to reiterate what i reported earlier today super nintendo games coming to the nintendo switch uh, official fcc filing has been reported for super nintendo wireless controllers that click onto the side of your switch so any day now, any day now, we're going to get an announcement for Super Nintendo games coming to the Switch, which more than likely will be at the next Nintendo Direct, which more than likely will be sometime in September, which, I don't know, I just kept saying which. All right, last thing before I end this video, I am giving away a Nintendo Switch Lite to a lucky member of the OGC, bruh. All you have to do is either become a twitch subscriber a youtube member you could join there's a join button right below this video or a sponsor on patreon you get invited into a dope gaming community tonight we are having a mario kart prize tournament um we game every night um we just have a great time a great gaming community you get invited to my gaming discord and we just hang out and chill. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we discussed in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. I know you're asking, why is there a goat in this video? I'm going to let you know right after y'all look at Reggie. Watch. Oh, well. Because the Super Nintendo is the GOAT.